I did something. I cut off my hair. <gasps> I love it short. It's so easy. Like, oh, I love it. I think the side profile is my favorite with short hair. It's so nice. And you know what's really funny? Steven and I like to watch old movies. <laughs> and we were watching Parent Trap. Like, I noticed that Elizabeth James, the character, the mom, she had really short hair, not even this long. It was even shorter. And then his love interest, Meredith, had short hair as well. And I was like, you know what? I feel like this is gonna be a thing. If you notice in the parent trap, they're wearing like monochrome suits and like everything they were wearing in that movie is coming back. Like it is coming back in style. And so I literally was like, you know what? That's my inspiration. I want short hair so I can look like Elizabeth James in the parent trap. <laughs> It's not even that even, it's not even that short. Her hair is much shorter, but she's just the epitome of class. Anyway, I'm loving the short hair. I love it so much. But today I am all bundled up because it is finally feeling cold outside. Like it is in the 50s and it's beautiful. And I harvested some things that I want to show you because I have the most fun, 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 and very easy project for us to do together. Are you ready? I got more hydrangeas. Yes, that's right. I can't help myself. Could you? Oops. I got more limelight. There's a bush nearby that is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. I'm gonna pop an image of it on here. And um, I actually, another thing to note, that if you follow me on Like To Know It, you will have seen this like two weeks ago when I first posted it. So these have been drying out and they look perfect. I'm gonna make them into a wreath. Using a grapevine wreath. Now this is like, how much was it? Like $6 at Michael's. $6. This is what you're looking for. You want the grapevine wreath. You can just slip the dried hydrangeas onto the wreath and it's gorgeous. So let's do it. Let's make a wreath. This will last all winter, all winter. My intention is to put the hydrangeas facing the same direction all the way around and then just fill it up. It's gonna look so cute. I cut the hydrangeas so long. Clearly I don't need this much. So you wanna make sure your hydrangeas are fully dried before you do this. Like the test is that sound. That's what you want. I wanna cut them pretty short. It just sits in there. Look how easy that is. Just goes right in and stays. Yee! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ah, this might be my favorite thing I've ever done. So fill that in. Yay. Beautiful. So far, it's so happy. Oh my gosh. Let me step back and see what we need to do. I can't wait to show you guys how I'm gonna hang this. Now, should this be the front or the top? Should this be the top? The cutest Vespa Moped just drove by the front of our house. I swear, it looked like we were in Italy. Anyway, that was what that look was. Okay, I think this is adorable. I love her. How happy. Oh my gosh. I wanna do this every year. I need to get a couple more because I want it to kind of look like it's overflowing. So let me go grab a few more. All right, I got a couple more from another bouquet I had. Actually, I showed it to you in last week's vlog, so check that out from our foraging adventures. Where was this one? Okay, this was, this one I wanted right. Just know if you have allergies, this might irritate them a little bit. Which way do we like it? This way, that way. Which way is the top gonna be? I need one more. Love it. I love how like natural it looks. <gasps> I love that it's like homemade and it's not 
perfect. I'm so happy with this. I am thrilled with this. It's gonna look so beautiful in the front door. Ah! Y'all saw how easy that was. Like it's just pushing them into this $5 grapevine wreath from Michaels. I've got some twine and I've got an over the door wreath hook. This is literally what it's for. First of all, I need to figure out where the top is. I think this is my favorite, yeah. So this is the top. I'm gonna find a spot behind here in the back and loop the twine through there and that is how we're gonna hang it. I wanna send it through a bunch of the twigs. So it's really sturdy. So then go ahead and tie it off and it does not matter how it looks. And then I'm just gonna cut it off. And then, voila, you are ready to hang it. I love her so much. Let's go see what she looks like. I'm wearing a new beautiful dress that I'm going to tell you all about in just a minute. But first, I have a little bit of an announcement. I'm growing out my red hair. I'm growing out my red hair. I can't believe it. It's like I went and got it chopped off because I want the red to really start coming back. And Liz, the girl who does my hair, she was like, your hair grows so long, so it won't, it won't be like that long of an awkward phase. So... I just want to let you know that's what's happening. I'm going to grow it out red and I'm excited. I'm nervous. I haven't had it all the way red since like, oh my gosh, I think it's been since 2016, but that's only because my sister and I decided for a year, we're not going to get our hair highlighted together so we could be twins again. And now that Elizabeth Ann is here, my niece, Caroline's daughter, and she has red hair. Caroline started growing her red hair out through pregnancy, and I'm doing the same thing, so we can all be redhead twins together. Um, also, I have to tell you the sweetest thing my husband said to y'all. I was like, do you really want me to grow my hair out red, all the way red? And he was like, yeah, I mean, it's natural, and I don't like things that look fake on women. And I was like, say no more. I'm going red. I thought that was the sweetest thing for a husband to say for a for a just know like men of God they know like when we're being fake and they love the natural look. I just I thought that was so enriching and encouraging. So I love him and I was like, yes, I'll grow it out red all day long. Just because you said that so sweetly. Um anyway, which brings me perfectly to talk to you about Darling Magazine. The magazine that doesn't retouch photos and they have been around for ages. Like I was a subscriber to Darling Magazine at one point. They released a line of clothing. Uh-huh, clothing. And y'all, it's all so good. I was looking through their website and I was like, this is gonna be hard to pick. I know, I know, just take it in. It's so beautiful. <laughs> The fabric and the way it is so eloquently structured. Like, it's perfect. It doesn't move. The silhouette is so easy and light, but it's firm. It doesn't move. It's so gorgeous. The twirl test. I'm obsessed. This is, I think, their garden party dress, which is impeccable. Impeccable. Like, you got the puff sleeves. And my favorite thing about this dress is that like when you're talking to someone and you're like, anytime you bring your elbows up, it's just like such a nice little visual effect with the poof <laughs> and the bow, the bow. I really have seen this a lot lately and I'm loving this new bow thing. You can tie it in the front. So it looks like this, or you can tie it up in the back. Well, I don't know, that could kind of be fun. I also, I really do, however, often cut these things out. These little stringies that come on some dresses, I'll cut these out most of the time. But I'm thinking of leaving it in this dress because of how sturdy it keeps this bow. Because this ribbon 
This is a great ribbon. This is an amazing quality. I've been so impressed with Darling, the quality. Like it's thick, it's not gonna wrinkle. Like in the back, it stays fully flat. Really, really impressed. Like, well done, Darling. Honestly, come on with your bad sales. Yes. Sometimes my brain just forgets how to tie a bow. Am I the only person? Sometimes my brain is just like, what? and I completely forget how to tie a bow. Yay! Ah! My other favorite thing to do with this dress is combine it with another piece from Darling. Though y'all are honestly just gonna flip over. Ugh. When I say everything they make is amazing. Remember when I was talking about Elizabeth James? I'm getting Elizabeth James vibes from The Parent Trap. Like the classic timeless colors. Look at this sweater. Oh my gosh. Okay, so two things I love to wear with the sweater, to do with sweaters like this. Firstly, you could do the Country Club Mom <laughs> sweater thing where you just drape it over and this is so convenient. It's kind of genius because it's always there if you need it, if you need it. But you know, you don't have to like alter your entire outfit. You can just sling it over and what's happening over there? I can't really tell. I like to tie it when I do it like this because it just kind of keeps it there and it holds it in place. So, country club mom look. I love pairing this time of year with my vintage Celine bag. Gorgeous. There they, it goes with literally everything and it's just a favorite. It's my favorite. Like how easy is that? I love her so much. So this is a classic look. I think I'm going to wear this to my friend's birthday dinner tomorrow night actually because we might sit outside and this will be perfect because if I get chilly and I'm going to show you this now, I could just pop this sweater on over the dress and this sweater too is so, oh my gosh, it's thick. It's, it's warm. I'm going to tell you something. If I wear a sweater over this dress, I would literally take this out. Sleeves are long. I would roll them up one. I got a medium in this sweater because I kind of like it to be a little roomy. Oh wait, no, I got a small in this sweater because it runs true to size and it's a little boxy. So this is a small. And oh my gosh, it's absolutely, but oh my gosh, how cute is this? I think it's so easy. I, this is what I'm all about. Easy breezy. Now look how cute the shoes that I have are. These go with everything, bag, and the sunnies. Yes, yes, all of it. I can't wait to show you the new sunglasses that came in. I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about them because Ania Hill sunglasses are literally a dream. Watch this. Just watch. Uh-huh. These sunglasses are literally gorgeous. So Ania Hill sunglasses, I've really been beyond impressed. I love them because they're so effortless and oh my gosh, like this is the Brooklyn. This style is called the Brooklyn. And then I have, the other one I have is the Dynasty and they're in my car, I'm gonna grab them, but they're literally gorgeous. What I love about them, they're so dark, you wouldn't know if I wasn't wearing makeup. And that's the dream, honestly, isn't that why we wear sunglasses? And they're so demure, there's no like overt branding. Here's what I really love about the Inia Hill sunglasses is not a lot of people have them. So they're a luxury sunglass that not a lot of people have. So when I wear these, I get this reaction often like, oh, where are your sunglasses from? Those are so beautiful. Like, I think they're designer, but I don't recognize them and I don't see any branding, but they're amazing and I have to know where they're from. That's kind of the vibe that they attract. So I've been very excited about wearing these. They're just so perfect. Anyway, this is probably the most fun thing I've ever experienced, but um, I'll just show you. This is the, this is the next thing that Darling sent over. Ready? A t-shirt with shoulder pads. Right? Here's why I love this. Because I have talked about my hatred for t-shirts many a time. Many a time. 
and you won't see me wearing a t-shirt. But what I love about this one is, yes, there are shoulder pads in this t-shirt. Why I love this is because it gives your arms a better silhouette. Cause like, I hate normally t-shirts cut off your arm in the most unflattering place, but this t-shirt cuts off your arm at kind of a, a flattering angle. Oh, I really like it so much. It's just a white t-shirt, but I, I love it. How, gosh, this is so good. You guys are gonna love this stuff. Look how good. Okay, let's put it all together. Ooh, 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 ooh. How cute is this gonna be? Let's put it all together, baby. Oh. Sweater tie situation. Like, this is just not fair. This is not fair how gorgeous I feel. I'm putting my hand to my heart because I know that Darling knows women. And I'm blown away by how elegant and chic yet tirelessly comfortable all of these are. Like, I could go all day in this all day in this and look so glamorous. I'm so thankful for darling. I, I, I don't have words. I mean, look at the gorgeousness of this look with the purse. Oh, oh. They just made it so easy to be so effortlessly elegant. That's why my hand is on my heart. Like I am just, yeah. I'm having like an actual emotional connection to Darling because I know that they don't retouch the photos in their magazine. They're not gonna design clothes that are just like only for women with a certain body type. They design for every body type. This is powerful. The elegance that I feel and the ease at which it comes. This is powerful. Absolutely stunned. Absolutely stunned. Very proud to be working with Darling, very proud. Wow. I mean, it's just a t-shirt and a sweater, but wow. Wow. The way they've engineered the t-shirt is, I don't have words for it. I don't have words. Y'all are definitely going to want to check this out. I will leave a link to all of it below. Wow. Darling. Oh my gosh. I don't want to take it off. Here's the sweater being worn by itself. I love it. This is the small. It fits so well. Like it's boxy. Like you know, this way. So don't order a size up hoping you'll be able to wear it with leggings because it's not long. It is boxy, but this is incredibly gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The color, <sighs> the color. I could have gotten an extra small to be honest. I should have gotten an extra small, but that's fine. I really, I'm really happy with it. Oh, I love the collars. I'm so happy. Okay, now I want to show you the other pair of Ania Hill sunglasses because, oh my gosh, oh, just come on, right? They're so beautiful. They're literally so gorgeous. I love the dark sunglasses, especially with like darker accessories as we go into the winter. This is so chic. So chic. Get it. And I have a little life hack for you. I love doing this. Sunglass chains. I highly recommend a tortoise shell sunglass chain. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, I love these. Especially when you're driving or when you're running errands, just popping inside to the farmer's market for a little bit. You're back outside again in five minutes and they're right here. And you don't have to look through your purse to find them. I'm all about easy. I'm all about convenience and chicness. I mean, takes all the boxes. It's so cute. So yeah, these are the Dynasty sunglasses from Inia Hill. Absolutely darling. And if that's not your style, like I don't keep these on there all the time. Sometimes I will. And this is kind of what I prefer to do because it gets the hair out of your face. Wear them as a headband. So easy. I love these sunglasses. I've never owned sunglasses that make me feel so delicious. These are the ones I have, Dynasty and Brooklyn. 
Love them both. I love the Brooklyn coloring for more of the summertime. I love the Dynasty for more of the winter. If y'all are enjoying this little try on sesh, follow me in the Like to Know It app because I post all of my outfit details there every day. There's a new post for you to check out some new things I'm loving and things I really know you'll love because I'm picky. I'm a hard nut to crack. If I love it and I recommend it, it's because I think that you should spend your hard earned money on it as well. Like I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not out to just like sell, sell, sell. I'm really telling you what's worth your money because I only spend on things that I think are really worth my money. And yeah, so I share those things, things like this staples, really time tested classic things you're going to have forever. So yeah, follow me there. And then if you're not subscribed to this channel, fun fact, I was looking on my analytics recently and I noticed that a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. I just thought that was like weird. So if you're watching these videos and you're enjoying them, please subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. I would love that. And I would love to have you part of this little crazy family. I'm making my date and seed energy bites really fast. And if you want the whole recipe, you can click up here. That's where my whole recipe video is. But every time I make them, I kind of do something a little bit different. And I want your opinion on something while I do this. Um, I recently ordered Nutrafol, the hair growth pill, because I was taking Vegamore for like months. They didn't really do that much. Like they really didn't do that much. I just saw some sprouting along my hairline, which is where I need my hair to start growing back. And I just need more progress. So I wonder if Vegamore is just like all natural, kind of a lightweight thing. Cause I feel like sometimes the all natural option is the weaker option. And I hate to say that, but like, I feel like it might be because Vegamore is like, you know, they have a lot of natural ingredients in them, but Nutrafol has a lot of, you know, I think actives. So, um, yeah, I, I placed an order and I'm looking at the new Nutrafol box over there. It's not sponsored at all, I'm just trying it out, but I'm anxious to see how that works. But anyway, yeah, I hope the Nutrafol works and my hair grows back. Also, I love these new kitchen towels. Oh my God, I gotta show you these. I love, I love these kitchen towels. So this is by a company called All Cotton and Linen. And I love everything they make. I'm gonna be doing a beautiful Thanksgiving table featuring some of their stuff. But actually for now, if you look down, you could see some of their beautiful red and white placemats that I paired with my cabbage plates. I love using these here. They're so cute. Okay, so I don't know. I feel like the last time I made these, they, they came out like a little too chocolatey or a little too sweet. So I'm gonna try to use more walnuts this time and see. But first thing, we gotta pulse the dates. Dates are pulsed. This is how you buy walnuts in bulk from Costco. That is literally perfect. That is the perfect size for that bag of walnuts. Walnuts go into the food processor. I use a lot of them, a lot of walnuts. I'm putting the dates aside because again, I don't want it to be too sweet. I'm breaking up the dates so like they can get all around. Cinnamon, vanilla extract. Get that happy. Or sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are incredibly good for you, especially us as women. Flax seeds. Beautiful. A few more walnuts. My socks never match. Today I'm working on tracing a couple of pieces. Um, I want to make the. I want to make these lines continue on this piece because this is all part of a limited original 
work on paper collection I'm releasing. Basically, I don't ever do um, reproductions. I don't do prints. I do one of a kind. If you buy a piece of artwork from me, it is a one of a kind. They're not gonna be made into prints or anything like that. I hope that if you need artwork in your home, you come looking on my shop. Art is an investment, especially if there are never gonna be any reproductions made of any piece. And I want that for whoever owns my artwork to know that it is uniquely theirs. So anyway, I'm working on making some of the lines from this piece, transferring them to this piece. So excited. Oh, I am so proud of this piece, namely. I started a new technique that was very hard, very hard to nail. And it took me like a week. So I'm incredibly proud. Here she is. I am so happy with how she came out. I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled with how she looks. Oh my goodness. Put it on the wall just so I can really get a feel for it. And I love her so much. Yay. This will be part of the originals on paper, as will this guy up here. Also, I should remind you guys that there are free art prints available on my website. This is one of them. This is the Sweet Sprout. And then the other one is the Thistle. So click the link on the screen and download your free art prints. They are so happy. They will make your space really come alive.